In this section, we'll go through a number of things we can add to the Dragon model in order to make it look better using a surface shader. The files included in this lecture contain all of the texture files needed in the section. Download them and unzip them into your project. Create a new shader called Full Surface Shader. Then a material for it called Full Surface Material. Apply it to the Dragon model. Open the shader and paste in the tinted standard shader code you wrote in the previous section. In this video, we're going to add the ability to use a texture on the model. The model itself is already UV mapped. UV mapping is done in the program used to create the model, so in this case I've used Blender. Start by adding a texture property called underscore main text. So that's underscore main text and call it main texture. Type is 2D and by default it's white with the curly braces at the end. The 2D tells Unity that it's a 2D texture. Save the shader and drag the dragon model texture called dragon texture in the dragon model folder onto the material. Add the matching declaration inside the CG program. So that's sampler 2D underscore main text and then semicolon on the end. Remember sampler 2D is HLSL's 2D texture variable type. Delete the code inside the surface function and set the albedo to text 2D and then in brackets underscore main text comma in dot uv underscore main text. We'll look at what this function means in a moment, but first let's add in the uv underscore main text variable. As we're basically drawing the texture onto the model, we need the uv coordinates of the model. To get access to these, add float to uv underscore main text colon text coord zero to the input struct. You can remove the world pos float three, we won't be using it. Text coord zero is called a semantic and it's needed to identify uv underscore main text as the first uv coordinate of the model. This has to be named like this. To get the model's first set of uv coordinates, the variable name must start with uv and end with the texture name. If you change the name at all, it won't work. It can be a different texture though. For example, if you add an underscore new text property, then you can use uv underscore new text instead of uv underscore main text. Let's go back to the text2d function. This is an HLSL function, so we can look it up on Microsoft's HLSL reference page. It's a 2D texture lookup. It takes the texture and the texture coordinates and returns the colour of the texture at that coordinate. So in this case, we're getting the colour of the underscore main text texture at the current UV coordinate. To add the colour tint, multiply the colour value by the underscore colour variable. Multiplying it will combine the two colours. Save and check it all works in Unity.